What's going on guys and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add captions to your videos using CapCut from your desktop. If you want to learn how to do this for both clips with talking audio already on them or for clips that don't have any audio, then stick around for this tutorial. Okay, so first you need to open up CapCut, open a project and import your clip. Then you need to go to captions, auto captions and select generate. Now to edit the captions, choose one of the caption boxes and in the top right, make the changes to the text as required. If you want to, you can select all of the captions, go to captions in the top right, and here you can add or remove lines as needed using the plus and delete icons. If CapCut hasn't perfectly synced your captions with the audio, you can make a caption box longer or shorter by putting your mouse over the end of it and dragging it so it's longer or shorter to sync with your audio. But once you've got your captions and you want to change the style of these, select all the caption boxes, go to the top right, select templates, and then choose one that you like and this will change the way they look. If you need to change the size or the position of the captions, you can select all the caption boxes again, make sure that apply to all is selected over here, then you can drag one of the boxes to its new position and resize it as needed. These changes will be applied to all the boxes. Okay, so that's the first way. But if you've got a video that doesn't have any audio for the auto caption feature to use, then you can try this way instead. You go to captions in the top left, caption templates, and then choose a template. Press the blue plus icon, then drag your caption box to sync it where you need it on your timeline. Then add the text that you need to over here. And from here, you can also make the changes that you need to make like resizing and positioning the text. To keep these settings and all the different caption boxes you're going to add, you can duplicate the first one and then just change the words as required. This way you won't have to reposition every box or change the color of every box. And that's it. I hope this video helped. Please don't forget to like it if it did, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.